Hello everyone, Captain Spidey Fist here, and I am very excited to be making this video. I have done the impossible. I have made movie theater style popcorn in my house. In my last video, I reviewed this popcorn maker, and I talked about wanting to work on and find how to make the best movie theater popcorn at home, and I've done it, in my opinion, right? Um, my son loves it. I love it. My wife loves it. We all agree it tastes just like and smells just like the movie theater. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add three tablespoons of coconut oil. You're going to need to add three quarter cup of Jolly Time Select and you're going to need to salt the kernels. So we're going to do that right now. Set my camera up here. Starting with coconut oil. Go ahead and turn that on to get it nice and hot. Do our first scoop of coconut oil. Here comes our second scoop of coconut oil. And here's our third scoop of coconut oil. Now, we're going to let that melt down. You see it melting there. As soon as that gets a little bit more melted, what we're going to do is we are going to grab our kernels, or our popcorn seeds, as I like to call them. And we're going to add three quarter cup scoops. So there's one. Two. And three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our popcorn salt and we are just going to cover our kernels. So just shake some out, cover all of your kernels. It doesn't take a whole lot. If you want it saltier, of course you can always add more of the popcorn salt. I'm not a salt doctor, I can't tell you what to do. Then we're gonna put our lid on and we're gonna wait. And we've got a nice buttery bowl of popcorn. If you're like me and you like to add extra butter at the theater, well you can grab one of these Colonel Seasons movie theater butter and you just pour a little bit on. But the popcorn is already going to be pretty salty, it's going to be pretty oily, and it's going to be very good. And if you've got one of these, it makes a whole lot of it. Now, if you want to reduce how oily the popcorn is, you can use two tablespoons instead of three tablespoons, and you can always salt the popcorn afterwards. So if it's your first time making the popcorn, I suggest that you make it this way first and then start adding more salt or less salt as needed. You know what you like, but this is great. I've seen a lot of people saying that you have to have Flavacol or Flavacol or however you say it, but if you ask me, the popcorn salt that you can buy like at Walmart or like HEB Kroger's or whatever, it tastes really good. Like this is a very good bowl of popcorn. It is very delicious. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'm Captain Spidey Fist, and I'm out of here.